also, to really appreciate a scholar, we have to know uh, about him uh, from his contemporaries. What did his contemporaries think about him? Uh, was he viewed very highly? Uh, uh, were they critical of him? Just uh, the following are just some views regarding Imam Abu Dawood, rahmatullahi alayhi. Musa bin Harun, a well-known muhaddith, says regarding him that Imam Abu Dawood, rahmatullahi alayhi, was born in this world for the service of hadith, and in the hereafter, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has created him for entering into paradise. I have not seen anybody, anybody uh, better than Imam Abu Dawood, rahmatullahi alayhi. Ibrahim Harbi stated after studying his hadith that the science of hadith has been made soft, soft for Imam Abu Dawood, rahmatullahi alayhi, just the same way that the uh, iron was made soft for Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam. Because of the similarity in name, uh, uh, Allah wa ta'ala mentions in relation to Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, wa alanna lahul hadith. Sal Tusturi. Rahmatullahi alayhi, a well-known Sufi uh, and a wali uh, of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Um, his story is also um, mentioned in the sources. Once he went to the gathering of Imam Abu Dawood rahmatullahi alayhi, Abu, Abu Dawood rahmatullahi alayhi asked him, uh, what can I do for you? He stated, I will only ask you if you promise to fulfill what I ask. He says, if I can do so. He says, please, can you take out that very same tongue with which you say the ahadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that I can kiss that tongue. Imam Abu Dawud rahmatullahi alayhi did this and he kissed, uh, um, uh, he kissed his tongue sahal uh, and then he left after that. In relation to Imam Abu Dawud rahmatullahi alayhi's juristic affiliation, uh, Shah Waliullah Muhaddith Dehalwi, he is of the opinion that uh, Abu Dawud Rahmatullahi Ali uh, is a follow, follower of uh, Ahmad ibn Hanbal and Ishaq bin Rahway in matters of principles and in matters of um, ramifications and branches. Uh, Imam Abu Dawood Rahmatullahi Ali is a mujtahid, meaning an independent thinker. Shah Abdul Aziz uh, Rahmatullahi Ali also in the Bustan al Muhaddithin mentions that some consider him to be Shafi'i and some consider him to be uh, Hanbali. Um, Sheikh, Sheikh al Hadith, Hazrat Maulana Zakaria Rahmatullahi Ali, uh, in his Lame, uh, has mentioned that Tajuddin Subki has included him in the Tabaqat al Shafi'iya. However, the most well known uh, opinion, uh, which is shared by the likes of uh, Hazrat Sheikh Rahmatullah Ali, also Ibn Taymiyyah, uh, Maulana Anwar Shah Kashmiri Rahmatullah Ali, uh, they all believe uh, that he is Hanbali. In relation to Imam Bukhari Rahmatullah Ali, uh, the most well known opinion is uh, that uh, he is Shafi. However, uh, uh, Maulana Anwar Shah Kashmiri Rahmatullah Ali, and also Hazrat Shaykh al Hadith Maulana Zakaria Rahmatullah Ali, they are of the opinion that he was a mujtahid, an independent thinker. In relation to uh, Muslim, uh, we learn uh, that he was uh, Shafi. In relation to Nasai, uh, also Shafi. And the same goes with Imam Nasai uh, and uh, Imam uh, Ibn Majah, Rahmatullahi Alayhim, that they were also Shafi. In relation to the Sunan itself, the uh, the work itself, we learn that Imam Abu Dawood rahmatullah alayhi collected 4,800 ahadith from a total of half a million hadith. So altogether, there were half a million ahadith at his disposal, but he chose very carefully and meticulously 4,800 ahadith. Uh, and he stated, out of these, four are sufficient for an individual to become religious and pious and God-fearing. Uh, those four are innam al-a'malu bin niyat, referring to sincerity uh, and ikhlas. The other one is min husne islam il mar'i tarkuhu ma la ya'ni. Uh, that is the second one. The third one is la yu'minu ahadukum hatta yadda li akhihi ma yadda li nafsih. And the fourth one is al halalu bayyinun wal haramu bayyinun. Shaykh Zakaria rahmatullahi alayhi mentions 
that Imam Azam, Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullahi alayhi, before him mentioned similar four ahadith with an addition of, of one more, Al-Muslimu man salim al-Muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadih. In, when we look at the sources, we learn that this is not his only work. There are other works uh, of Imam Abu Dawood. These include uh, the Arrad al al qadariya Al-Nasikh uh, wal Mansukh, Ma Tafarrada Bihi Ahlul Amsar, Fazailul Ansar, Musnad Malik bin Anas, Al Masail, and Kitab Badul Wahi. The purpose of its compilation as a Shaykh al Hadith. Mawlana Zakaria rahmatullahi alayhi uh, mentions the reason why this was uh, compiled uh, was to identify and collate the reference ahadith of the prominent jurists. Ibn al-Arabi uh, has gone to the extent and said that if, if somebody does not have any other books apart from the Holy Quran and the Sunan of Abu Dawood rahmatullahi alayhi then he would not need uh, anything else. We do not know ex the exact period of his compilation. However, we learn from the sources that uh, Imam Abu Dawood after its completion went to his great teacher Ahmad ibn Hanbal uh, and he showed it to him and Ahmad ibn Hanbal uh, uh, appreciated it a lot. From this we learn because Ahmad ibn Hanbal died in the year 241 Hijri uh, uh, he must have compiled it uh, before that period. Some of the special features uh, I will not go into uh, much detail uh, is uh, of the Sunan of Abu Dawud is that he is not included in his Sunan uh, a transmitter who he believes to be matruk, meaning abandoned. So all the uh, transmitters that he has used are very carefully uh, chosen. We also learn that sometimes in his hadith he uh, cites um, and puts down uh, a portion of a lengthy hadith, uh, lengthy hadith which corresponds uh, to the subheading uh, also, we learned that he chose 4,800 hadith out of a, uh, a, a, a half a million, whereas uh, Imam Muslim Rahmatullah Ali chose uh, his ahadith from a total of 300,000. Um, also, there is no similar comprehensive work on legal hadith. Uh, the amount of juristic ahadith found therein uh, can never, uh, cannot be found anywhere else. Uh, and to conclude, uh, uh, in relation to this particular topic, uh, uh, there was a dream that, that a pious person saw in which he saw the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioning Man arada an yatamassaka bi sunnati fal yakra sunan abi Dawood. Uh, whoever wishes to hold firm to my sunnah then he should read and study the sunan of Abu Dawood. There are many uh, commentaries that have also been um, uh, written on the sunan of Abu Dawood. Um, and also ancillary notes known in uh, uh, Arabic as Hawashi.